Hi Virgo, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of October 11th through the 17th, 2021. This is a reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If you are a cross watcher, you might be able to resonate with some of these messages. So guys, I would like to say welcome to all of you. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. Also, if you could please give this video a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate that. So I'm starting off this week, guys, with pulling you a Moonology Oracle. So we do have a personal issue, reaches resolution, full moon in Cancer. You could be dealing with the Cancer this week, Virgo. But we do have a personal issue, reaches resolution, and then... At the bottom of the deck, we do have a time to give rather than take new moon in Virgo. So here's your card. So needing to be maybe more generous here this week. But let's see what the tarot has to say, Virgo. Okay. Wow, we have the five of swords that jumped out immediately. So first card out is very significant, guys. Maybe this is, for some of you, maybe this is a fight. Maybe this is a battle with, you know, a personal issue reaches resolution in the five of swords here. Let's see. Virgo, what does the sign of Virgo have coming up for this week? Okay. Five of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Let's see, Virgo. King of Swords, and he landed sideways. So some of you are possibly dealing with an air sign. But, you know, they could be any sign, but maybe coming off as the King of Swords. It could be the King of Swords in reverse, which if you're dealing with a King of Swords in the reverse, my goodness. King of Swords in the reverse is a liar. I mean, he's, he's many different things. I could sit here all day and, and list them. But, um, you know, first and foremost, he's not honest. He can be vicious, he can be quite nasty, he can be a narcissist. All right, we have the King of Swords with the Hermit. So I could be reading for some masculine Virgos. Let's see. All right, we have the Fool. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. Mercury is retrograde, so there definitely could be an X that is maybe trying to come back in. We have the Hierophant. Some of you possibly dealing with a Taurus. There's the five of pentacles. So now we just need an overall energy. What is the overall energy for Virgo? Okay. Eight of cups, bonus card. You have the page of cups, which is interesting. Definitely see news. Here's the seven of pentacles. But you're definitely dealing with divine timing. You could be waiting on... A past investment to pay off could be waiting for some money to come in just make sure you're not um, you know attracting any sort of negativity make sure you're not manifesting you know a lack for yourself because we have the five of, of Pentacles here so and this can be that um, that lack mindset right where you know you feel like you don't have enough you're not making enough money whatever it is and then you end up manifesting that so you need to have 
that abundance mindset, that more positive mindset where you feel it, you think it, and you attract it. And this is definitely not it, Virgo, with the five of coins. I see you making a past investment, but you are waiting. You are, you are being patient. Remember with, you know, these seeds that you plant with the seven of pentacles, they will need nurturing and you will need to be patient. Yeah, I mean, and this is in regards to your financial stability, your future. So this could be with a job for some of you. Some of you are waiting to maybe go back to work or to land a job. Move up within, you know, the company that you work for. If you were out of work, but maybe you're back to work, this could be you um, trying to get back on your feet, trying to feel definitely more secure, maybe trying to save some money. And there may have been a loss in the past or there may have been a rejection. Which that could have maybe knocked your confidence, Virgo. And, and, you know, if you are stuck in this lack mindset, you know, like I'm alone, uh, you know, maybe someone abandoned me. Um, but, you know, if you are feeling alone at this time, if you're struggling, could be that, you know, maybe prior you felt rejected and that took a toll on your confidence. For some of you, not all of you take what resonates, but I'm definitely reading for some Virgos we are. There could have been either a misunderstanding or a fight for some of you, an ending. I do see a new beginning. We just seen the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You have the Fool here in the spread. I feel like there's a new beginning on the horizon, really. So um, don't give up. Try to get out of this lack mindset. That's so very important here. That's like the first step. The overall energy is the Eight of Cups, which could be you still emotionally disconnecting from someone or something. It could be an old job for some of you. For those of you where there was a fight, could be an ex. I see you emotionally still letting go, but I also see news coming in. So you may hear from your ex this can absolutely be an apology coming in some of you though will maybe reject this person you want to be alone you're going through the healing process and you're trying to emotionally disconnect completely from someone but what i see at this time for many of you is you being being patient patient with yourself with this situation i think if someone was to reach out to you virgo there would be an apology or someone trying to get um maybe things resolved between the both of you others but you know back on the same page as you I do see a lot of fear here though and you know if you feel like an ex abandoned you or if you feel like they were 
an a-hole basically in the past if someone mistreated you I you know I don't see it happening I don't see you forgiving this person I don't see you going back especially those of you where you feel like someone abandoned you um, if someone was nasty some of you this is a narcissist with the five of swords and the king of swords he landed in the reverse and you know with these general readings these these readings are for thousands of different people and so keep that in mind when you watch readings for some of you this is a narcissist who mistreated you in some way virgo and this is you feeling alone and some of you are having to rely on some sort of um, help from your community. It could be from family for some of you. It could be government for some of you. I am reading for some Virgos where you are. You are a parent. You may be a single parent. Uh, I see possibly a child or even children significant here for some of you. So this could be your ex. Could be an ex-husband. You could be dealing with another earth sign um, we do have Taurus showing up here could be another Virgo could be a Taurus a Capricorn we have lots of swords here so you know any of the ear signs we have Aries but this is a very specific read and so uh, I see you distancing yourself. I see you wanting to be alone. Someone could be trying to come back in and Virgo, you're rejecting them. And I feel like if, if, if you resonate with that, it's because maybe you feel rejected by this person. You feel like they rejected you in the past or there was a fight and they were nasty. You feel mistreated in some way this person left you alone and very worried some of you you dealt with a fool in the past someone who was very immature you know that's not for all of you but for some of you queen of pentacles in the reverse for those of you that resonate with the queen of pentacles in the reverse she can be someone who's greedy she can be someone who overspends so um you know that could be something you need to work on virgo maybe some of you need to work with a professional like an accountant or something like that especially if you're in debt Yeah, watch out. Um, watch out with um, overspending at this time, Virgo. Let's pull you an additional guidance card, Virgo. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is someone who's not. They're not generous, upright. Queen of Pentacles is, is very loving, very nurturing, upright. She's the Empress, right? Um, and so in the reverse, the Queen of Pentacles is, is not generous. She's quite stingy. She overspends. I mean, I could read her so many different ways. So this could be you, this could be someone around you that you're dealing with. This could be a family member for some of you, could be your mother, someone that you're worried about for some of you.
All right, let's see what sign or signs you're dealing with. Who is Virgo dealing with this week? Who is Virgo dealing with this week, please? But you do have a personal issue reaches resolution. And so I see a new path opening up. I do see news coming in. As far as you moving down this new path, Virgo, I mean, that's going to be different for all of you because you have this Eight of Swords here upright. Some of you are too stuck in your head. You could be overthinking things and you're stuck in this negative mindset this this lack mindset where you may not feel good enough or worthy of this which is crazy and i mean that could be why we have the queen of pentacles in the reverse because some of you maybe are lacking in the confidence department some of you are maybe empathic and maybe you've been dealing with a narcissist uh, for some of you, in, or an energy vampire, and it's just completely maybe wiped you out physically, emotionally, spiritually, you know. And so you're just trying to let go. You're trying to move forward. Trying to work more um, on yourself here at this time. And, you know, maybe just feel better physically, mentally, emotionally. Just wanting to maybe be alone for some of you at this time. Okay. And you could be dealing with an air sign. But we have the ear element. So every time I see this card, communication it is significant. So again, I do see news. But watch your communication. There could be misunderstandings here at this time with Mercury being in retrograde. And then you have ancient oak spirit strength so you are actually becoming stronger and you know if the goal is to feel more stable that's what you're manifesting it's just happening at a very slow pace but that's what you're manifesting so you do need to be patient but this is this is what you're manifesting some of you could be settling down you planted seeds or you're planting seeds at this time so just stay positive virgo so i hope that you found this reading helpful if you did please give this video a thumbs up make sure you are subscribed all right guys have